In this video, we're going to look at how to take half of a fraction. So let's start with one third. And the way to do it, we're just going to multiply by one half. One third times one half. That'll give us one half of our fraction. It's pretty easy, too, to multiply fractions. One times one is one. Three times two is six. And half of one third, that's one six. If you doubled one six, you'd end up with one third. All right, now you try one. What's half of the fraction one-fifth? Pause and give it a try. So remember, we multiply by one-half, and then with fractions, when we multiply, we multiply the numerators. One times one equals one. Five times two is ten. And half of one-fifth, that's one-tenth. And if you doubled one-tenth, you get one-fifth. All right, let's try another one. What if we had something like two thirds? How do you take half of two thirds? Think about it and give it a try. We're going to multiply by one half. See what you get. So times one half and two times one is two. Three times two is six. So we get two six. Half of two thirds is two six. But we can simplify this fraction. These are both even numbers. So 2 divided by 2, that's 1. 6 divided by 2, that's 3. So half of 2 thirds is 1 third. So sometimes you need to simplify. Let's try another one. Pause and take half of 3 fourths. We multiply by 1 half. 3 times 1, that equals 3. 3, 4 times 2 is 8. We end up with 3 eighths. Let's try kind of a crazy one. Pause and find half of the fraction 17 25ths. Give it a try. So 17 times 1, that's 17. 25 times 2, that's 50. And we can't reduce this any further. It's in simplest terms. Half of 17 25ths is 17 50ths. So that's how you do it. That's how you take half of a fraction. I hope this helped. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.